hi guys and welcome to Amy and Rose where you can find so many encouraging videos including faith videos, fashion and lifestyle. Definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I will be speaking at an event in November and it will be amazing to meet as many of you as possible. So check out the link below, it's a free event, sign up, hear me and other beautiful ladies sharing their testimony and encouraging you. It will be my first time speaking so it's going to be exciting, I can't wait. Um, but I'm nervous, kind of, but I believe that God will give me the strength. Okay, let's get into the video. So we've done our time management series and upon reflection, I thought about a topic that I could encourage you on today. And it's so important, okay, it's so important, like even with our relationship with Jesus, prioritising that will get us far. Prioritising spending time in the Word and praying and really being intentional will get us far in our lives. But we have to know our current seasons and where we're at and what we are to do with that season. We can't be reckless. We have to be focused and know what to do with our current season. So we have to know that there are seasons that you are not able to socialise that much. I feel like recently, because the weather's changed, there's lots of birthdays and everything. People have been inviting me to things. And though I've been able to go to some, I can't go to many because I'm in the last three months of my professional qualification. Praise Jesus, I cannot wait for it to end. And I, I've got about three different pieces of work to do, three different assignments. Um, I think in total it's like 12,000 or something, or just over 12,000 words. It's due very soon. So I have to work on that and, and master that and make sure that I do my best in that. And I have to say no to certain people and to reschedule. Um, I think that it's really important that you learn how to say no as a as a young lady or male, whoever you are, you need to actually embrace saying no and if you continue to say yes when you mean no, it just leads to bitterness and frustration. You need to be able to assert yourself. Part of this time management is being assertive and having these um, life skills and all that just so that you can just be able to manage yourself and have your boundaries. Um, it's really important that you're able to say no because, you know, it will affect you. Keep saying yes to people and then you're struggling to complete an assignment or a business plan, whatever it is that you need to do. So it's really important to learn that and just know that, you know, you don't live to please people. And if they truly love you and they're your friends and they care about you, they will truly understand and support you in this time. And I'm thankful that I've had friends that have been patient with me. And I'm also thankful that I'm able to meet them halfway and be like, okay, I'll come to this, but I can't come to that because I care about them as well. What we care about, we make time for. You know, if you're starting the ministry, you may, God may call you to spend more time with him and um, to spend more time in the word, to spend more time planning that ministry and, and conferences and things like that. So you may be secluded for a time. There's been several times where I've heard of pastors or ministers having to have that time away, to spend that time to get to know God a bit more and encourage people and be led by his word. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 8. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to re refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. So you get my gist. I think I mentioned this scripture along the series, but there's a time for everything and we need to be in control of our lives and embrace the time that God has given us in this current time right now, just so you can plan your life and take control as God leads. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave some comments below if you'd like to see more. I'm going to be I'm going to be moving on to the more exciting part about time management and that's the looking good and looking after yourself holistically. And I'll be giving you some tips, showing you some clips about what I do. So stay tuned for that. God bless.